Hey everyone, this is Larry from WSTrades.com doing a technical analysis video on ticker symbol SPY, which is the S&P 500 ETF. Um, haven't traded SPY in a few weeks, so wasn't really uh, paying attention to the levels that they were at. And also haven't used the uh, FIBs on them in a while, but went to the weekly chart and uh, just placed it on you know their big rip up and then uh, their pullback. And right now, I noticed that SPY is at a kind of critical level. Uh, you can see this dotted line is the 200-day moving average. Uh, and it's also right at this 50% retracement from the uh, pullback that they've been having. So it's kind of a critical level, in my opinion. Um, I do think come Monday, we're probably going to uh, test this 435 level. And then, you know, kind of see what happens from there. We do have some big names. Uh, let's check out the earnings coming up this week. So uh, Monday, Advanced Auto Parts, probably the only one I'm interested in. Uh, Tuesday, we've got some big ones. We've got Roblox, um, Airbnb, Viacom. And then towards the middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday, we've got some really big names. So Wednesday, we've got Shopify, NVIDIA, Trade Desk, uh, Marathon Oil, Man, oil's been on a freaking tear. I hope they kind of pull back. Um, AMC Networks, Fastly, all pretty volatile stuff. Um, then Thursday, we've got Roku, Walmart, Fiverr, Dropbox, Palantir, Yamaha Gold. So we got pretty big names coming in uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So for me, looking at the chart, I would say we're probably going to come test this uh, golden ratio level, come down here to about 435 and then hopefully make a move up uh hopefully we see like shopify and nvidia towards the middle of the week have some good earnings uh roblox as well on tuesday could kind of move the markets a little bit um but yeah it's just i don't know i've been fairly bearish on the market since the covid recovery because you don't really see uh let me zoom out you don't really see s p dip below this 200 day moving average which is the white line very often and when you do it's you know a big sharp correction and then typically a big fast rip uh right back above it so you know you can see in 2018 dip below it a little bit and then we had a fat sell-off and then once again just ripped right back and then obviously covid crash had this huge rip going into uh the crash and then you know you got a nice 35 percent discount on it and then once again boom got bought right back up but what's been concerning me is the rate that the recovery went. So, you know, even, you know, all this, you, you know, if you're into the market, you know, what was going on, we were still having lockdowns, still having cases, uh, spiking and all this stuff, but the stock market didn't care. It just kept on ripping at an insane rate. So, I mean, you see the angle that this 200 day moving average is on. It's a nice, just steady incline. And then after the COVID recovery, it's just a nice a crazy rip higher so i think a lot of uh people are now looking at it as you know a company could have good earnings but is it worth a, you know whatever ticker is it worth the crazy valuation they're at right now and a lot of times uh, i've been seeing this year it's it's just they're causing sell-offs even if a company has good earnings people are looking at it like okay well you didn't come out with some crazy blowout numbers uh so you know, I'm selling. It's, you know, you're not continuing this insane rip that you were having. So seeing that in uh, quite a few big tickers. Um, whereas, you know, during this COVID recovery, I remember, you know, anyone that just had decent guidance, you could have had super crappy earnings and people just kind of anticipated it because, you know, everything was shut down and whatnot. But if you just had good guidance and said, well, you know, we see things are moving in the right direction, you have a nice like 10% rip higher. So, uh, to me, I would like to see SPY have a bigger correction, you know, the market in general, just to get back to some, what I would consider like normal numbers for stuff. But, you know, I, I didn't think this COVID recovery was going to keep on ripping and didn't care what I thought. So I, mean, I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I think Monday, probably going to see a test of this 435 level. And then hopefully uh, with like Shopify and nvidia kicking off uh midweek we'll see a nice rip higher uh but this like 435 level is kind of key if it breaks through that then i think we're for sure going to test this 420 level um if it doesn't if it does bounce off of this then you know 
with the big earnings coming up in the middle of the week, I think we could have a big rip higher and, you know, possibly even test uh, this 458 by the end of the week. So just key levels. Uh, I'd keep an eye on this 435 for sure. I, again, I think it's going to test it, but we could bounce off the 200 uh, if we have some decent earnings on Monday. So anyway, it's just some key levels I've been looking at. Uh, thank you guys for watching.